Today we're diving into one of Milton's newest and most charming neighborhood, the Ford community. Whether you're considering moving here or just curious, stick around as we're going to talk about demographic, its history, homes, schools, neighborhood, home prices, and we're also going to give you a tour of this neighborhood to give you a sense of what it's like to live in this community. My name is Fawad Nassari. I'm a local real estate agent here helping home buyers and home sellers over the last decade. And if you're looking to make a move now or in the next three years, give me a call, shoot me a text, or you can schedule a call that's convenient for you. Also, if you enjoyed this type of content, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And without further ado, let's get started. The Ford neighborhood is one of Melton's newest additions, as, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but the history of the land runs deep. The area's name honors one of Milton's earliest and most industrious families, Arthur Ford, and his large family. They landed here in 1830s. The extended family of brothers and cousins will go on to shape both the physical and the political landscape of the region for decades. The neighborhood itself is much newer by comparison. It was created by the town of Milton as part of the Boyne survey in 2004. So, where is exactly Fort located? It's bordered by Louis Saint Laurent to the north, Britannia Road to the south, and Ontario Street to the west. It's about 10 minutes to Highway 401, 10 minutes to 407, and about 20 minutes to QEW, and one hour to downtown Toronto. And if you don't have a car, or just wanna go downtown to watch a game, or maybe a show, you can take Go Train, which will take you about 90 minutes. Again, be mindful, go train in Milton does not run on the weekend so if you are going on the weekend then you would have to basically go to Bronte go station which will take you about 20 minutes and then you can go to downtown Toronto again you do need a car if you want to live in Milton as a whole this is a bedroom community this is not downtown Toronto where you can just get down you know from your condo and hop into one of the street cars and go to King Street and go to a bar or a club. Um, this is a bedroom community, so you're definitely going to need a car. It is, the community is a very family-centric neighborhood for young professionals. Many of the homes were constructed as early as 2015. Most of the homes are built by Madame Home. You'll find mostly wide lots, big, big windows, nicely landscaped lots, um, nice garages, mostly double car garage, Almost 70% of the properties are single family detached homes, 25% townhouses and a few semis. 73% um, of the homes are owner occupied, which is a strong indication of why most homes are landscaped and well taken care of. If you drive it around the neighborhood, you will know right away, you'll not see a bunch of garbage outside these houses because they're owner occupied and you will, you will notice a true pride of ownership. The neighborhood is home to several top-rated schools such as Boyne Public School, Viola Desmond, and there are several Catholic schools in and around Ford neighborhood. There are also several daycare facilities, but if you're planning on moving soon, you need to start calling daycare today because no matter where you are in the GTA, every single daycare is full. So start calling today. Well, there are two major parks in this community, the Ford Neighborhood Park, which offers plenty of room for walking. The park does get fairly busy in the summertime. There's a basketball court, a splash pad, a playground, and this is one of the popular places to play pickleball in Milton. There are two outdoor courts, the lines are permanent, and the courts are free. The next one is Raspberry Park. This is on Raspberry Terrace, as the name suggests and it features a cover picnic area, a playground, and enough space for, you know, having have your kid running around or walking the dog. It is obviously much smaller than Ford Neighborhood Park. 
Um, there's Milton Turf Center for local sports enthusiasts during the cold winter months. The indoor domed artificial turf field hosts the Milton Soccer Academy and is also open to rentals. Lastly, there's Royal Ontario Golf Club east of Ford and Rattlesnake Point south of Ford for those who enjoy golf. In summary, the Ford neighborhood in Milton is one of the fantastic places to live if you're looking for a family-centric neighborhood, lots of schools, and most importantly, newer homes built after 2015. This is probably one of the major reasons why so many young families are looking to move to this neighborhood because every first time and second time home buyer they want a newer house built in the last 10 years. So if that's you, give Ford neighborhood a shot. Now, if you want to explore Ford neighborhood in person or any other community within Milton, uh, please give me a call, shoot me a text, and I would be more than happy to take you around on a ride and show you what it's like to live here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more neighborhood tours. See you on the next video.